But nice girls, they're pathetic. Here's to Evil Skang. Okay, to start with, I have a new favourite vampire. Not because Pandora's not problematic, for God's sake, she's a vampire who used to be a Roman who owned slaves and she writes very realistically in that respect. But lines like this make me want to go, yes, queen. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. Right, first, what do I like so much about it? Well, firstly, on one hand, we have a truly well-written historical piece of fiction. Immersing the reader in a forgotten age in through a realistic lens of someone who lived through it. Immersing the reader in a forgotten time, but slowly, subtly crossing over into a spellbinding horror. Now, apart from Lestat and Armand, no other book in the Vampire Chronicles has ever had me quite so invested, intrigued, and in love with the character as I read it. Sarcasm, wit, cleverness in droves can talk our way out of trouble, literally in one scene, and doesn't waste a bunch of pages bemoaning her vampirism. And this is not a house of Marius fans, and never will be. Don't love him, but I do love their interactions. It's very reminiscent of Benedict and Beatrice from Much Ado About Nothing. In short, a character you fully understand why Marius fell madly in love with, why she is much too good for him, and I can't wait for her to be portrayed in the TV show. <laughs> 